Today I'm going to show you how to enable both ray tracing and DLSS in Cyberpunk 2077. So you can see we're here in game in Night City. Go ahead by pressing the escape button, head down to your settings menu, go up to the graphics tab. Here you get a bunch of different settings. You're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and you will see a ray tra tracing section here. There's a couple different categories. You have standard ray tracing, you have ray traced reflections, and separately you have ray traced shadows. You can enable these by turning them to the on position. Then for the ray traced lighting, they give you a couple different quality settings here. You have off, medium, ultra, and psycho, which you see I'm running at here. Then for DLSS, you can scroll right down to the bottom, and this is your DLSS section here. They give you a couple different modes. You have off, auto, which changes the DLSS uh, sampling dynamically, dependent on the resource intensiveness of whichever scene you are in. So it depends on how graphically demanding a certain scene is that you are in the game. It will dynamically scale the DLSS. You have quality, which is the highest quality. Uh, it's the least amount of loss in the image. You then have balanced uh, perfor performance and ultra performance. Now you might not you might notice uh, below is a couple different DLSS settings. You have dynamic fidelity effects. Um, this maintains a consistent frame rate. Uh, the internal res rendering resolution will change dynamically. The amount of fluctuation depends on complexity of the scene. The internal resolution is upscaled and sharpened using AMD Fidelity FX. So this setting here might be better for somebody that's running a AMD card with ray tracing. Um, or just any of the newer AMD cards, you would, might want to use this setting instead. You can see when you uh, select on for that setting, it gives you a couple different settings here below it. You get target frames per second, minimum resolution, and maximum resolution. Let's go see how let's go see how good that looks actually. Not as good, and I am noticing a severe drop in frame rate with that setting as well. Let's go ahead and turn that to the opposition. You then have st uh, static fidelity FX. Um, this helps maintain a consistent frame rate. Internal frame uh, rendering resolution is reduced as needed dynamically, uh, basically just like the dynamic fidelity FX. Uh, the final image will be upscaled and sharpened using AMD's fidelity FX. So both of these settings here are more directed towards AMD cards, based on my understanding. Um, and if you're using an NVIDIA card, especially with NVIDIA ray tracing, so like a 3000 uh, series card or a 2000 series card, you will want to use this top DLS, DLSS setting here and ignore these bottom two. I would recommend setting it to quality or auto. Uh, if you have the uh, resources, by all means, go to qual uh, quality. Um, but if you're looking to get uh, some performance, keep it on auto it will change dynamically. Let's go ahead and see how this looks. Very nice. Goodbye. Now, at the mercy of my graphics card, what we will do now is we will turn DLSS off to the opposition, which is going to immediately tank my frame rate. But by doing this, you guys will be able to see the um, increase in clarity while not using DLSS versus using DLSS. Um, we're running this on a RTX 3090. Um, some of the other gameplay we have filmed was running on a 2070 Super. Um, and you can see the differences between the two sets of footage. Um, you'll see here ray tracing 
is on, um, all three, and I have the ray trace lighting turned to psycho, and we're going to see how much the frame rate tanks, probably quite a bit, but you will see, you'll notice an increase in clarity on the reflections uh, on the city buildings here. Notice up there where my cursor is. In fact, actually, I'm not noticing too much of a decrease in frame rate as I thought I would have there, surprisingly. However, you do notice a slight amount of clarity on these reflections here. Definitely some pop in and out. Um, this is a launch day version of the game. I don't think there has been a update pushed yet for this. Let's go back down. Let's turn DLSS back on to quality. And see the difference. I definitely notice a difference there. Performance is definitely a little better. You can see the reflections on the gun as I rotate, as well as the reflections on the sidewalk. Hey V. Dr. Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. You look pleased. Dr. Vector. Does that kid have a gun? I miss my sister. Better be a toy gun. He misses his sister. Oh, jeez. Look at the kitty. Wow, actually, the resolution on this cat, like, just the the detail and the fluidity in the, mo in the movement, the animation quality, is extremely good. Extremely good.